today's Tuesday and it's so muggy out here I didn't even think the Sun was gonna come out like literally we woke up this morning and we couldn't even look out our windows that's how like cloudy and like muggy it was today but it's actually a beautiful day I'm wearing pants because I just feel like I can't wear shorts at the end of October but it's like 70 degrees and it's so humid I really needed some fresh air I can just walk a couple blocks away from where we live where it's hella busy and i can go to this more like insulated quiet nice neighborhood i think this is borum hill pretty hungry i have a meeting in like 30 minutes so i think i'm gonna grab some coffee downstairs from our apartment building basically i'm gonna walk back to our apartment building grab some coffee and then i think i'm gonna grab like a burrito or something i don't know i'm really hungry but i'm not like starving but I haven't ate enough, especially since I've been pretty under the weather. So decided that I'm going to commit to just filming a little bit throughout each day to tell a better story for my vlogs. Also, it just makes it easier to edit and be more creative that way. So if I have some ideas, I'm not like in this big time crunch. One of my absolute biggest things that I struggle with is over just little stuff like especially when it comes to like purchasing things even like buying lenses that i know will be a great return on investment to make higher quality videos i just overthink and overanalyze just way too many things today i'm actually gonna walk to the apple store because i want to try out the new ipad i'm gonna do like an unboxing on tiktok and instagram because those videos have done really well and i'm trying to venture more into the tech like consumer tech space so I gotta be on these releases. I gotta be on top of it and make sure I'm posting videos the day products launch. This project in our Brooklyn apartment. This morning, the sky looked incredible. Like it was filled with like a rainbow of colors. I think it was at least like three different layers of colors this morning. And the sun just like came in through the apartment like so strong that I ended up waking up like an hour and a half like earlier than I usually wake up. Like I was up at like, anyways, man, I'm trying to salvage my fantasy football team. I'm one of those like fantasy people that really gets into it to the point of like, like, probably 60 to 70 percent of my youtube consumption is just fantasy strategy reese hall from the jets got hurt and that was my running back in both leagues so more of the story don't draft two players or acquire two players on different fantasy leagues because if something bad happens to them like an acl tear a seizing and an ending injury then both teams are screwed I'm trying to figure out when it comes to making these more chill type of videos that don't really have like a subject that we're talking about and they're pretty informative like these vlogs where I just show my life outside of what I do for a living which I prefer making and I'm super grateful um, that you all were so engaged in my last video and so many of you all 
like clicked to watch that video, which is so important. Like the click through rate was really high and I appreciate that so much because if your video gets a high click through rate, then YouTube will recommend it to other people, which helps the channel grow and it doesn't put my videos in like a black hole. So, but I also want to still talk about career stuff. I guess I'm kind of nervous if I don't put like the word tech or something career related in the title, then the video is not going to do well. So I guess my plan is in this video, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to put something like big tech or being a developer or something like that in the title, even though that's usually like the second half of the title and the first half is something centered around like my life to frame the video in a more vlog style. But I still want to like talk about my career because I feel like having some sort of like informative portion in my video where I get a chance to reflect on what's been going on career wise is not only helpful, it's also helpful for myself because a lot of times it inspires me and motivates me to like do more. I recently did a five minute demo. Basically I programmed in front of a live audience, our hackathon participants, and it was my first time doing that. And I definitely was nervous because I'm not used to coding in front of a live audience because as you all can imagine, a lot of things can go wrong. And when you're nervous in front of a crowd, your brain can like block your long-term memory. So doing some simple tasks, like maybe an NPM install, or maybe you're missing like a syntax error or something like that could happen and you can struggle to figure that out. Five minute demo actually went well. And I don't know, it was, it's something new. Uh, I do still enjoy like building products and still enjoy design work, but I think it's fun to help customers you know, build and solve their complex business problems in like a short amount of time and helping them build with React and with our Twilio APIs, especially when they're actually able to build something at the end of the hackathon and build something meaningful so they could take it back to their business leaders and say, hey, we need to use this SDK because it'll make our lives a lot easier. One thing I've made sure to prioritize while living in the East Coast and specifically now in New York City is to try out as many coffee spots as possible. Honestly, it's the best way to figure out like which place sells the best coffee and makes the best tea and gives the best vibe or experience. So we decided to walk 15 to 20 minutes to Dumbo this time. We also went to Clinton Hill and Borum Hill throughout the week, but this time we figured let's go to Dumbo, which is one of our favorite neighborhoods. So it's incredible and I feel so blessed to say that we live in such close proximity to one of our favorite neighborhoods. But we end up stumbling upon this really wonderful cafe. I really enjoy making these videos. I hope you all enjoy these videos as well. I'm thinking about upgrading my lens. So I currently shoot with, or my lens kit, I currently shoot with a Sigma 24 F 1.4 and a Tamron 20 to 70 F 2.8. But since I'm doing more vlogs and I really don't like bringing two lenses with me when I'm out and about in the city, I think I'm going to sell these lenses and actually go with a more minimal setup and getting the G Master 24 to 70 f 2.8 one it's like going to be a sharper lens there's image stabilization a bunch of other features that my tamron definitely doesn't have and it's also wider than the tamron that pretty much wraps up today's vlog as always have a blessed wonderful rest of your week i'll see you all soon you know peace well miss i guess i'll be on my way now